low and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? Yo, what's up guys, it's Kiftuba here, and I'm playing Sly 2, Band of Thieves. We completed it previously at the episode 4 here, we saved the gang and we're all reunited, but we still got some revenge to do by beating the crap out of Contessa because of what she did to us. Forced Murray to eat some very delicious spice and, and just put Sly in his misery as a thief. So let's go to the episode 5 because we're also gonna have to, um, we also have some business with Neela, just just abandoning us, so let's do it. A tangled web. Time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. This is gonna be exciting. This is this is perhaps my one of the more favorite world uh, episodes here because I do like the mission here is a, bit, a lot more here. Some of them can be a bit complicated, but I, I enjoyed them a lot here. But again, but it doesn't give me as much nightmare as the episode four. I tell ya. But look at this place. There are tanks everywhere. And if you're not careful, you're gonna get blasted to bits. Just taking a lot of damage. Now, what's this mission called here? Know your enemy. I'm Batman, baby. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then, make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. Yeah, thanks for thanks for the reminder. But I think this is the first mission where we actually get to take photos around the place and not just inside uh, a place. But still, this is a recon mission you get in almost every every first missions here. Okay, just stay in the middle. Don't get blasted. There you go. Neela's made a headquarters out of that old bank. It's a pretty secure location. It'll take some doing to drive her out. Yeah, because all you know, she's not very social about this, so she's just staying in her room. And here's a boat. Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Nayla's army. They could be useful to hitch a ride. Actually, we... I don't know if I recalled this incorrectly, but I don't think we ever get to use that boat at all. Ouch. Okay, there's the blimp that she used in episode 4. That's the blip the Contessa used to escape from the prison. Maybe we could use it to our advantage around all these high towers. That one though, we're gonna use it. Okay, the last one is gonna be her tank. It's around here somewhere. Okay, there are guards here. Gotta be very stealthy. Well. Okay, um... This way... No, come back! Come back! No! Okay, he's good. Okay, the Zang is coming back here, so... 
now. Contessa's all geared up for war. Just our luck. Okay, Sly. Head up to the re-education tower. I suspect that's where we'll find the clockwork eyes. Yes, we'll do. Also, have you guys seen the short film I just uploaded? It looks so good even in this time around. Sure, it may not look as HD-ish uh, like the rest, but it still has that awesome charm that I uh, absolutely adore in this slide game. They don't only have the technique, uh, the tech, they, only, they also have the style and the charm. Yeah, we will. So yeah, I really think you should give it a chance, because it really is an awesome short film they've made. Alright, let's go into the in re indication room, or what it's called, whatever. I don't like indication! There's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the Claw Gang and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. That's right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. Clockwork eyes. They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console so I can decipher its make. Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. Those are the Contessa's elite shadow guard. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. Well, really? Okay. That's... That's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. All right. Head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray. Sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Sly, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. Yep. So, um, 
the business mission, I think, is one of my favorites because there you're just gonna have to use some of these uh, traps instead of his bombs, and that's kind of fun. Okay, I'm gonna f uh, buy some necessary um, upgrades to those guys. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about. Atlas strength, run and jump while carrying things, and I still think it's very dumb. It's called it, it's an upgrade here. It's a good thing we don't have to use some of these microtransactions to actually get that. Now, that will, uh, or I mean, in-game purchases. Ghost Capture. This is the first one I'm gonna go with. And then Bentley's mission is coming um, after that. I just want to steal something before I go to the Bur uh, Murray's mission because... I just want to complete this one without, uh, without, uh, with that much difficulty because... I really don't think it should be that hard. So after this, I may need to up, um, oh, oops, I may need to grind some money. Let's go. All right, Sly, there's your new objective. Sneak inside and smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Aren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. Yeah, but we're thieves, so what's the difference? Oh, okay, um, maybe I can steal something from him. I can get that. Oh, okay, um... Yep, a bronze medal. Nothing much worth, but it's better than nothing. So let's just whack that coffin like it's nothing. Like a snowman's business. I mean, even though they're evil, I still think it'd be very disrespectful. <laughs> but then, whoa, okay, ow! <laughs> that, that totally swinged me off the bat, did you see that? <laughs> okay, there's the coffin. Let's just break it, oh shoot! Okay, no, 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 don't break me first. Yeah! Man, it almost most scared scared me. <laughs> Whew, I hate these ghosts, but we have to do this. I modified the imager in your binoculars to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts. Then set them free down the chimney of Neela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Neela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. <laughs> yeah, but do you really need nine ghosts? I think five is enough, but hey. Need as many as we can. Okay, uh, I think I'll take this one last because we can just get right over there. There are too many. Okay, I need to find a good place to actually get uh, to actually get them, like it's Pokemon and stuff. <laughs> uh, wait, is he coming this way? Yes, I got him. Okay, the third one is right in there or up there. Okay, get him. Oh! <laughs> wow, okay, I... Wow. That gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, can I get him from here? Yes, I got him. I somehow got him. Oh, no. <laughs> got a big shocker. Now, the fourth one is right there. Gotta be very careful. These tanks here can get massive damage. Um... Meow. Alright. Now to take the ones right up there. I mean, you may find it a bit surprising that I don't find this uh, level as scary as the last one. Maybe it's just the music. This one is a bit more um, cheery. Uh, cheering. So maybe that's why. 
Okay, first I'm gonna take care of this scarf right here because then I can take a clean shot. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. Yes, that was number five. Yes, number five. Now, this one is right there. Okay, it's coming. Okay, I have to get a little closer. Boom! Three more. Um... Okay, how do I get up again? Okay, I have to get over here. Okay, beat them up. Oh man, am I still in trouble? No. Okay, got him! Hey, I actually got him! His toes! I got his toes! Now, first I'm gonna take care of him right up to the uh, re-education room. What is the re-education room, exactly? I'm gonna climb up. See ya! <laughs> Man, I'm evil. Oh man! I can't believe a bat can just fall to death. I mean, you 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 can't fly, right? Okay, gonna take him. Oh come on! Okay, get a little closer and take a photo of him. Okay, one more and I'm done with this mission. It took me already ten minutes, but well, I did make it a bit too long. Uh Okay, there he is, and that was it. You have all the ghosts. Now just make your way to Neela's HQ and drop them down her chimney. Good thing I have the paraglider. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh shoot. Oh no no no. No! Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. And then we're gonna scare the crap out of Neela for what she's done in episode 3. Take that, bitch! So, the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Charlatan. Huh. <laughs> Good one. Well, if we're done with that, let's go for the murder mission. No, actually, I want to go with the bit. Okay, like, I don't know what I said before. What to do first? But I definitely said I want to do the bit uh, mission first. But first, I'm gonna see if I have just enough. Nope. No, I'm not even close. Well. I just, I still don't think it's a big mistake to exit by this power up because I do want to try and run through this hub world a little faster, just so that it doesn't take too long. All right, I am right here. I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow. Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo. I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Wow, sounds easy. Not really. Bad mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, 
That should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna have to use that trap. It's very primitive, but the others will get a little harder. But dang, these traps here can be very, very harsh against these bot uh, against these enemies here. You're gonna feel bad for them for actually using these death traps against them. I mean, look at this. It could just crush their bodies. See ya. Just one button and kaboom! Do you see why I think this is a very fun mission? And then, yeah. I just can, I just want to wait until there come there comes two enemies. Kip. Nope. Yeah, I can just keep doing that. And one more. Looks like the spouts run out of bad mojo. No matter, I'm one fourth of the way to a full tank. Yeah. To me, it just looks like a propeller, but. <laughs> Alright, it looks. It is apparently a dark detonator, a dark bomber. I think it's a dark bomb. It is, bas it is basically it. Three, three more. But man, what do you think is the what is your favorite mission in in the Slice series, or maybe just this game? Because this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, it's right over there. Nice. I wonder, what did you find out about these codes? It could definitely not be have been the episode four codes. Okay, what did these co uh, do? Dang! Okay, now I remember. This one. And this. And then I'm using this. What a wacky weapon I'm using there. Look at this. <laughs> I can just I, I can just keep using this one. Just look. If, I, if you're using it in the right timing, you can actually hit two enemies, which I actually didn't. Oops. You can actually whack two of them. Just gonna have to wait. Oh, come on! I missed again. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Using these. Boom! Man, I love it! But man, this this episode has a lot of death traps that is that should be perhaps unsuitable for kids. But eh, whatever. That's how we want to just reach our potential as a video game. Reach the potential. Nope. Yeah, I could just keep doing that. Physics. Yep, I know, you're a nerd. Haha. Uh -huh. I may be a genius, but I'm also very, very psychotic. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, and if you take just one damage, you can... And the bad... The bad motor here will explode and just, you know, kill off Bentley. Which is a very risky mission, but also, I say that he's very... Very courageous if he actually taking that mission for himself. Excellent! Another chamber in my mojo collector is full! Moving on to the third crypt! But if you think about it, anyone can actually take that mission, not just Bentley. Just press a button and then you set up a trap. Even Sly can do it, then maybe Murray. Uh, where is the mission? Oh, there. Uh, I mean, the next location. Why does it mission? Okay, so it's right there. And Murray is the one that's, that's giving him the location. That's interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just forget that you saw me. I need to go this way, please. I mean, don't you guys think that this bomb here looks like a uh, propeller? It really does. 
Oh, okay, it's a sleep. Okay, it's a sleeper. That's that's the one I don't need. But this can get a little harder because now you have to try and dodge them while using these traps here. But I guess it isn't that hard. And then use the flamer! Yes! Oh, right, I got you. Okay, they're coming. Take that! Oh man, I can't reach it! Okay, Flamer! Wow, they all burned to death, look at that! Okay, got it. I do like that. Alright, come at me, bro. Come at me. Wow, he just smacked one of his brothers. Nice. Yes! Kacha! They're coming again. Burn! Whoa! Sorry. Or should I say, see ya? And that was it. That does it for this room. Looks like I've only got one more crypt to go. Yes, it seems like it. Oh, this is actually a, a piece of cake mission. If I say so myself. Yeah, let's go down here. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Those guys almost got me. Just one hit and I'm doomed for life. Okay, this one is a bit more interesting. We're just gonna have to use these to actually just burn them and let them sink. All this actually is coming back to slide 3. And that mission is a bit harder. Yeah, it's all about reflexes. You have to be really fast about using these buttons here. Got him. Okay. Yes, burn to hell. Okay, that was a bit of a stream set, but... <laughs> but wow, this is actually... Oh, sh Nope! Electrify! Come on, yes! I'm almost done here. Look at this again. And we're done here. Alright, the deed is done! With a Mojo Collector at full capacity, I should be able to blow the clockwork eyes off that Mind Shuffler. This is going to be great! Yes, it's going to be great, yes. Okay. Now the Murray mission. Seriously, I want to get a bit more coins because I really don't want to do the mission without the power-up. Oh, right, I got just enough. Okay, I'm gonna buy this right now. And start the mission. I just got that one loot that connects itself to Strux, and I got a lot of bolts out of it. So, in his last mission here, he's gonna go and... Well, kidnap that one general. His name is General Clawfoot. And I suppose he's actually not a very bad general. He's, um... He's not that bad. Okay, um, how do I... The question is though, how do I get up? And the, and the question is simple, just find something that takes your way up. Um, I seriously don't know how to do it. Um, now I'm taking some random guesses. This way. Uh, 
All right. Okay, one more guard. Okay, here it is. Now, just to test out my power up here. Yep, now I can run and jump. See ya. Hey, Murray, can you see the general from there? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way. As a projectile. Wow. That is handy. Yeah. So he's just gonna sneak up from behind. <laughs> Oh, forget it. I'm gonna take him up. Now bring him back to the safe house. I marked it in your you Yes. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Oh man. Oh, cute. Okay, just, just run, run. You're not gonna get me alive. Oh man, few guards, few tanks. Yes, yes, I did it. Whew, that was close. Here, Bentley, I got a slave for you. Well, well, General Clawfoot. We've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Jack! <laughs> You scoundrel! <laughs> All right, fellas, let's get down to business. The first steps to escalating the war between Nila and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out! Yes. The first one I want to take is the Murray mission because this is where we're gonna shoot. This is where we're gonna use the tank. Tank showdown, crypton codes, and the third one I'll see is about stealing a voice. Yeah, stealing voices. I knew it. Oh no 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 no! So many tanks! I'm so excited to do this tank thing because I want to get rid of them. Whoa, that was close. analog sticks to drive the tank. Press both up to move forward, both down to go in reverse, and in opposite directions to rotate. To fire your turret, tap the R1 button. You'll need to take out six tanks to get the job done. Oh. Oh. Here we go. The seat's gotta go back farther than this. Hey guys, 
I'm in a tank! Remember, all six up to move forward. Both okay, the tank the tank control can't be a little uh, tanky, but look at this. I could just I could just ride on uh, on this one and just crush my enemies with it. Just gonna keep shooting these tanks here. Now these tanks can also give a massive damage. Just be just gonna have to be very careful. I can't use the waypoints, so just gonna have to find it myself. Come on. Die already! Yeah! Just gonna have to shoot! Is, my name. is it? Well, that's nice. Alright. Come on. Yes! Another tank. Now, this is a very quick mission to complete. Just gonna have to keep shooting six of these tanks here, and your mission is just as good as done. The hardest thing is to just keep con uh, is the control of the tank, but it should be no problem. Or too many problems, but hey, that was quick. Just gonna have, just gonna have to get used to it. I'm out of here. And look at this, these, tank, these tanks are still here. What a bummer. I knew it all the time, but even though you're destroying these tanks here like like a freaking monster, they're still coming back in the hump world area. It's, it's almost like there's no point in actually doing these missions in the first place. Oh! Yes, disappear. Now, the Bentley mission. <laughs> wow! Look at that! That was that was so silly. Bentley, can you actually do that, psychic? How are you gonna hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the Clockwork Eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? <laughs> Man, he just wants to scare you, dude, and you know it. You did the very same thing to Sly when you said something about these tanks here. But even though you can... When you're just going f uh, back and forth in these, uh, this... What's it called? The crypt? Or... I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna call it the cave. You have to go back again with the... With the battery. And you have to try and survive without taking a single hit. Making this platforming a little harder. I mean, this isn't just a, a stealth mission, this is a platforming of survival. There it is. The Chaos Emeralds. Well... I got you, baby. Aha! This acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you knave. Oh yeah, another another hacking me the game. I absolutely I still really love it. Just because it seems so classic. Alright, got it. But you know, all these mini games here just reminds me of these old, these old retro games like the NES and the Sega Master System and Genesis. It's like we're buying these very graphical games and placing two, and in exchange we're also getting these mini games for free. I mean, just think about it. A 
get you, Contessa. Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. That's one down, two to go. I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Yeah. Okay, ready for another session of hacking mastery. I wonder how acid can actually charge up a battery. Did I miss something in my in my physics class or the chemicals? Well, in any case, maybe I should just try and study it a little. It may be something. It may be very realistic thing to know. Okay, the second computer is right over there. Better be very careful. Just one hit and I'm dead. Yes, I got it. But damn, that's a big battery you got in your back. Maybe, maybe if it's actually a very poor, it, it's like a, a gigantic power bank you're getting there. Okay, just be extra careful. But yeah, if you think about it, this is a gigantic power bank uh, Bentley is carrying. Maybe it's a very good to have if you want to charge up your laptop. Gee, that was fast. Unlocked. Hmm. Maybe I should approach this through your id instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. Damn, did you just insult Cam Carmelita? One more computer and I can get out of here. Okay, gonna be very careful here. Now! Yeah! Man, this is... This looks terrifying. Alright! Okay... Just gonna have to use all my platforming skills to get out this one. Whoa! Boo, yeah! I get... I did it! Man, I just, I just remembered that this mission was kind of hard, but hey, I actually did this without taking any damage. Or die. Alright, can I have to shoot off you guys? Thank you. Out of my way. Oh man, there's so many. So many enemies. Ah! Okay, okay, you can calm down now. I need to get through. Yes, okay, the doors has been unlocked. Okay, this is the big bat. Just gonna to destroy it, just use some few hits. And it's done. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow! No! <gasps> Damn! That old computer powered up! My work here is done! But oh, wow! <laughs> Carmelita says something really terrible! But, you know, it's com- it's contest, as she deserves it. Okay, the Bentley mission is done. Let's go for the slime mission. They keep going after me! Alright. I'm out of here. Now for the slime mission! And this- and then it's to steal, um, ins Inspector Nila's voice. Whoa! I don't like swimming. Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, 
She'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So, I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here or there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. There's pockets to be picked. I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. This should be no problem. But man, the first... Oh, okay. Uh, big thing. Have to be very careful. Really careful, mate. This guard here can actually turn around. He's actually a genius. Damn! He's actually a genius, guys. Okay, gonna jump now. Give me that key! Oh, man. Hey, at least I got his. And then stealing his. Now. Thank you. No problem. What? What? Oh man. But I just I just thought about something. It, it was in 2002 that the first uh, Sly game came out. And people had to wait in two years. People must have been really, really excited when this game came out. I mean, Sly 1 was more of a, a platformer than a mission based. But it's still a, a, a stealth game like the other Sly games. The reason I start with this one is just because it's more traditional than the first one, so... Also because it's my fir one of my first games ever. That's why I kinda st I wanted to start with this one first. Um... So I don't need- I don't need to knock them out. I- Hey, just the vault! And then I can get this! The oh, uh, the wiretap. I was about to say the modulator. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the wiretap. Now to get the other keys. Another set of guards are up in your Whoa, okay, this bliss. Oh man, okay. Just gonna have to wait. Okay. Just gonna have to steal really, really fast. Okay, that was fast. And knock him over! Kaboom! And the other one is almost there. Just gonna have to do a little climbing. Oh. But man, this game actually looks very clean in, in, in 720p. I played this all the time in 480 and just wondering why. But that's because I set my PlayStation 3 in into only 180 just to force it to be in the highest resolution. And that's why this game looked kind of crappy. It was only stuck. It, can, it can't go up to uh, 1080. Only 720p. You know, I just watched it on YouTube and it looks much, much better. Yes. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Oh, no, no, no. Almost fell. Oh, I know. It's actually right in front of this door. Okay, this is perhaps the most, um... This is the most obvious way to actually find the modulator, just because it's right at the center of the whole world. This could be tricky. Just because of those traps, they could kill you. Ugh! <laughs> Dang! I just wanted to try this one out. Oh! Huh! Take this! What the minute? He doesn't get destroyed by these traps here. Whoa, I burnt him alive. Sorry, sorry, dude. 
Uh, uh, will he actually turn around or? No, he's not going to turn around. Okay, what do I do? Okay, this. And then I'm gonna attack him from behind. And then I get the modulator. Huh, huh, hi -ya. That's it. You've got the Contessa's voice modulator. Let's go put that thing to work. Yeah, I'm gonna pull so many pranks with this one. But I'm out of here. But we do need to get two more keys in order to open the door. Uh, where are the other keys? Was it even necessary to make a lock in the sewers? I don't think many people would go down there. Unless it's us. Got you. Okay. This one can be pretty tricky. Okay, gonna go down here. Gonna take the keys here. Got you. And the second one is right over there. Yes, I got it! Oh, wait, what? Oh, come on! I'm, I thought for sure that I'm going to get that key. Oh, man. Okay. Just gonna have to be very calm. But wow. Contessa really loved the mid of uh, in the mid time really well. I mean, she has she has these swords there, some armors and some of these primitive traps. She even has a guillotine right next to me. Yes, after this mission, we're gonna do some some of my favorite uh, operations. Because this is gonna backstab both Contessa and Tanila. Oh man, another guard? Hey, he has something really valuable. Let's try and take it. Yeah, I know. But hey, I stole silver metal. I stole silver. Whoa, I really thought there was another guard. Okay. Wow, that well, that looks fun. Uh huh. Sure. Oh, two wolves! How cute! Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Slice in the wire tap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. impression of Neela is just priceless. It's time to wage war on the castle, and in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. 
the assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the shadow guards off their post. And if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the bad mojo bomb, and presto, the clockwork eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. Now, I'll tell you why it's my favorite operation. It's about uh, trying to get, uh, to just trying to break in and just backstep uh, because it's saying the most. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. Yeah, okay. But also because there comes a little twist. I mean, it's just like I'm so free, but a lot better. Let's do it. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces. The castle defenses, defenses are down. down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge! For victory! For glory! That should do it! Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown! You're a turtle, dude. This should be no issue. And actually, they shrunk down uh, Bentley. Look how tiny he is! He's a lot tiny. Oh no! Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off. Oh no! I don't want to drown. <laughs> Man, that plane just knocked me down. But bam! Take that, thief. Gotta be extra careful here. Yes. Oh man, that was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that at all to happen. Just, just the plane just knocked me over. Well, I'm gonna knock you down. All right, let's head for the re-education tower. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Now let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, Parker. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. It's a very primitive trap, so it should be nothing. Also, why is that? Why is that, that restraint uh, close to the terminal here? I mean, it's a very old computer, and it was disabled long time ago, I think. So why is it connected to the restraints? Well, I don't know. I'm not a, the biggest tech guy. All right, just gonna have to destroy these red thingies. Get out of here! Out of my face! Oh, oh man! Come on, please get destroyed! Boom! That should do it. I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up! And I mean all of them! My dear, you really should- <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! Who is the coward? That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. 
Again, cool, uh, cool guys don't look at explosions. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, Taps. It's safely in hand. Mila? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, when should be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But, the plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! Whatever, dude. We have to do some... Okay, what's it called again? Um, we have to just think of a new plan. Okay. Now this is no longer about chasing her in the in the old-fashioned way. We have to chase her for real. Okay, she's still there. Whoa, that was close. That explosion could have killed me. But yeah, this is no longer for fun. This is very, very serious now. She has the clockwork eye. And that means we can try and beat her all the time we want, but she doesn't take a single hit here. And wow, she's disrespecting all the graves here. She needs to die. But this is what I mean about the big twist in the operation here, because this is not part of the plan. So now they have to just try and think of a new. Just gonna take the bottles there. Come on, just keep running. I'm just faster than you. This looks silly, but this is kind of how it looks. Well, I got the eye. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Uh oh, the crippling claw, the crippling crawler. She's coming to get some revenge. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> now this is also very fun. Just can, just gonna have to do this shooting again. Okay, there are so many to destroy here. So this is perhaps my... This will perhaps be one of my favorite um, uh, stories in... Of all the... Um, of all the others. Just because uh, the missions here are just a bit more fun. Sure, the, the hope was a bit haunted, haunting, but... That's part of the appeal. It's all about life and death. And war. Okay. Eat physics? Yeah, eat physics, cause I'm smarter than you. Four more? Come on. Got you. But man, Murray isn't playing a much of a ro uh, role in this operation. The sky's all clear. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. Hades, Sly, can you read me? Carbolita shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down! 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 Yeah, Bentley's dead. But he's not. That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. 
never understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. She's just saying all that just because she's gone through a hard education. But, you know, lady, just because you're smart doesn't mean you're the best. And I'm gonna prove that in a face-to-face -face battle. Is anyone there? Yep, we're definitely going to kill you. You should have kept that eyes that eye in check. Okay, just a few more hits and she's done. Yes. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Oof. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelina took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks. Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Yeah, no way. We're gonna get that eye back. Now, this shouldn't take too long, I hope. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank, then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Well, you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, You've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Oh, shoot. Yep, that's right. She can hypnotize me in this fight here. But that won't make much of a difference. Because I have a freaking cane to just pluck her eye. Okay, that would be very uh, painful. Whoa! No! You won't get me! Yeah, it looks incredibly freaky, but... <laughs> yep, she hypnotized me. Oh man. More for children's! Nope. I got you. She's coming back again. Yeah! Yes, I got more health! This won't take long though. She's almost out of commission! You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. You sound so sarcastic. But I finally got the eyes. And the episode is done. Absolutely love this operation. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind, 
This claw business was spiraling out of control, and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Whew. Now that's over with. Now we can finally get to the f most fun part after episode 5. Now we're going to more of these not-so-creepy-like events. Now we're going straight to the Canada in the next episode of Sly 2 Bane of Thieves. I hope you, you love to stick around, guys, because I'm going to do a lot of these videos here. So see you later at Slide 2 Band of Thieves and more. Hope to subscribe and like my video here. And then we can just chat on and stuff. See ya! Also, this music here has changed into the better. I love it.